This video will take an in-depth look at the setup tab in EdgeCam's workflow interface. The part setup is the second step in EdgeCam's easy to follow five step process to produce a programmed part. The first item that we will discuss is the component setup window. When you first load a part into EdgeCam, you will notice this window appears in the viewing area. It contains two sections. One is part information and the other is the datum and position screen. On the information side, we can see what environment we are currently in, be it milling or turning. Also, we can choose a material type for our workpiece from this drop-down list. We can also see the overall part dimensions are displayed here. Let's now move to the datum and position screen. Here we have several useful tools to manipulate the solid model and to be able to position it appropriately on the screen. We can use the arrow triad to move the part in different directions and by whatever increment we have entered. Also, we can quickly and easily move the CPL or origin of the part using the radio buttons shown here. We can even select the pick datum button to give us full control to select another position for our origin. Furthermore, we can easily rotate and flip the part using these buttons as shown. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will position the CPL in the lower left corner of the part. As we are satisfied with our component setup, we can minimize this dialog by clicking on this arrow. The next step in the process is to add some stock to our part. There are essentially three methods we can use to accomplish this. We can select the stack database, which will open up our pre-configured list of stocks that we have created and stored. We can choose insert stock, which will require us to browse for a stock file to use as our stock, such as in the case of a casting. Lastly, we can choose fit stock, which will allow us to create our required stock dimensions on the fly. This last option is what we will cover in this tutorial. Here we can specify the stock length, which includes an offset amount on both the left and the right side. Also, we can specify the stock width and height with corresponding offset values. For this example, we will enter 10.25 in the stock length, 8.25 in the stock width, and 1.375 on the stock height, leaving 100 thousandths on the top. We click OK and the stock is created. If we move the cursor to the upper left of the screen here, we can toggle the stock to show the finished part inside the stock material. Once we have added our stock, it is now time to add a fixture, or a vise in this case. Click on the fixture database to access all of the fixtures that have been added to the fixture manager. This will include all of the fixtures that are supplied with EdgeCam out of the box. You may also insert your own fixture if you have a solid model of it by selecting the Insert Fixtures button. For this example, we will utilize the fixture database. You can preview each of the vices that are stored in the database prior to selecting it. We will choose the Curt D688 vise here. Enter a stock seating height of 1.5. This is basically the parallel height. Click Select 
to finish the command and add the vise. The next step is to create our manufacturing sequence. Here we are prompted to select a machine tool and a toolkit. We will select the sample mill vertical inch machine and then click on the next button. Here we will just go to the default settings as shown and click the next button again. Now click OK. You will see that the vise and the part have now been loaded onto the machine table. We can now go back into the component setup window and adjust our vise position to align the T-slots of the table with the slot on our vise for visual aspects. The setup is now fully complete and we are ready to move on to the features tab.